course. Of course, he had the fall. Now the team from the Soviet Union ready to compete. This is Olesya Dudnik. She too has opted to compete on the balance beam for her third and final event. Now as a team, they need 19.55 to Very tie Mills and Kirksey. Very difficult mount. She mounted with the round off onto the board and then did a back layout step out. Beautiful area cartwheel into two back layout step outs. Just an incredibly difficult tumbling sequence. Ready for another pass. A round off, layout, full twist on the beam. Clearly one of the most difficult skills that are being performed in the world on balance beam. She did it like she was on the floor. People always wonder how do these girls learn skills like that on a beam and in, in reality they learn it on the floor. They have maybe a piece of tape that's four inches wide, they'll do it on the floor, then do it on a beam that might be just a few inches off the ground to give them confidence and finally of course they can do it on the high beam. Just that when you miss it's a lot harder fall than when you miss on a piece of tape. <laughs> just keep raising the beam. Sitting for a dismount, round off, back handspring, layout, triple twist. That's one of the most difficult balancing routines that I've seen. Be sure to get a very good score. Remember, Phoebe got a 9.85 for her routine, which included a small bobble. This certainly was a very difficult routine by Dudnik. Vitaly Marinich is going to compete in his third apparatus on the high bar. And Marinich chose this for a reason, because he is spectacular on horizontal bar. He does two skills that really most of us have never seen before. We knew they could and had been done, but when you see it back to back, it's just incredible. First he sets up by doing a straddle pike Gaylord flip, named of course after our USA gymnast Mitch Gaylord, who barely caught it. Now here's this, it's a reverse heck right into a front flip catch, into a full pirouette. He did not do that in the American Cup. This is just a wild routine. Beautiful inverted giants. Now he's gonna set up for his dismount. Usually he does a full twisting double layout. There it is. Oh, took a hop. I really wanted to see competition. It is Wendy Bruce and Li Jing. Wendy Bruce, like the two women before her, has opted for the balance beam as her third and final event. She is teamed with China's Li Jing, which is why you are seeing another USA competitor in the third and final round. Right now, our leaders are the team from the Soviet Union with a total of 57.85. In second, Mills and Kirksey with 57.65. But of course, Wendy Bruce and Li Jing have yet to compete. This is a good event for Wendy, though, and she chose it last. Now, the score is ahead of her on this event, but this is one that we can truly compare. Phoebe Mills got a 9.85. Dudnik got a 9.9. <laughs> it's tough to beat. Well, she certainly has her work cut out for her, but she's very strong. I don't know if she really planned on being in this position in this competition right now. If she can nail this routine, and if Li Jing can do a great job in his routine, they could be the first mixed-mixed pair, as I said, to win this title. Hasn't been done before. Combined total that they need to tie is 19.1. Which kind of comes out to nine fives for each of them. So far, no problems. The front flip, once again, very, very difficult. You can't see the beam until it hits you. It's always comforting when it hits your feet instead of something else. Or dismount. A round off, double back. One step. It's a good routine. Should score well. A very solid routine in the light of the fact that as a team they only need 19.1 to tie. The question is, was it better than 9.5 and how much better than 9.5 can we do on the horizontal bar? Lee Jing. Well, it seems that uh, the meet's going to just depend on this single performance and he can do it. 
very, very difficult. He does uh, another variation of the Gaylord flip. You have to give credit to Mitch Gaylord for coming up with this skill because not very many gymnasts really even try this skill. Many other skills have been imitated time and time again, but not the Gaylord flip. It's very blind, very, very difficult. Here it comes. He does it in the pike position. Catches it. Beautifully done. Right into a stalder. Now, here comes another set of double release moves. There's a reverse hack right into a ginger. And I think we're looking at our first place team at that scored as well as it deserves. If he lands this dismount correctly and stays on target, we've got some champions. A double dishing double layout. Little step, I think that'll do it. Lee Jing from China and Wendy Bruce, look at her face. She did a solid job and he did a great job. I wouldn't want to be a judge right now. <laughs> This is one of the tougher finishes in this mixed pair. Now here comes the Gaylord flip. It's in pike position. Gets a lot of rotation. It takes him up and over the bar. You can see those hands just out there like radar saying, where is that bar? And he grabs it. He's now again to tie, they each needed 9-5. Now here is his reverse hack right into a flyaway with a half turn. He just can't do much better than that. Again, Wendy Bruce on the balance beam. Now her score's already been announced. It's 9.60. It looked like her feet were a little bit off to the side on that punch. It certainly didn't affect her dismount, though. 9.6 her score. He received a 9.85, and according to our calculations, they've won it. 58.2 is the total that we have. But, of course, we have to check our math to make sure. We'll be back with the final standing. But first, these messages from Jacksonville, Florida.